right, we're recording. So again, thank you so much and welcome to our Tuesday night Taking Healthy Back Zoom call series. This is a special series we've got uh, going all year long and this is a special call that uh, we kind of uh, were able to uh, get Tim to come and join us uh, pretty quick over this last couple of weeks and Tim's been offering to support nonstop since Tower Gardens uh, came to Canada and has been jumping on planes and coming up and joining us at regional trainings and boot camps and always willing to help. So Tim, thank you so much um, oh, thank you for, for joining us this evening. Uh, I'll just take a second and introduce myself. My name is Stephen Millman. I'm vice president of sales and marketing for Juice Plus and Tower Garden in Canada. This is my wife, Bobby, um, Bobby Millman. I've asked Bobby to come and join us as well. She was really excited about tonight's call. Uh, Bobby is our in-house here in Guelph, Ontario, <laughs> our resident grower and does all things towers for our family and our kids. So she was pretty excited to jump on the call tonight. And uh, we may just pop in with a couple of questions and comments, Tim, as we go along here. But uh, uh, we're excited to have you uh, share with us tonight over the next 30 minutes. Um, for those of you joining the call, um, this is our Chief Technical Officer uh, with Tower Gardens, um, who will be joining us and sharing. Really, Tim wanted you to share about getting and growing, particularly with our new product that we're most excited about um, with our Tower Garden home. So I'm going to turn it over to you and um, let's rock and roll. All right, Stephen, thank you so much. and. Uh... Uh, hello, everybody from Canada and uh, all over the United States and probably some other parts of the globe as well. So, so excited to be talking about Tower Garden. You know, I was just talking with my wife, Jessica, tonight, and it was literally 10 years ago this month, we sent our first Tower Gardens to the Juice Plus company from a company called Future Growing, which is now Tower Garden. And um, so it's been 10 years and the technology has transformed, evolved, and um, I'm going to be sharing a little bit about that tonight and uh, really what my passion and so many people um, on this um, event tonight, their passion for healthy living, inspiring healthy living around the world. And I can't think of a better way to do that than through the Tower Garden. So we will um, jump over to this presentation screen. Excellent. All right. So oh, what's that, Stephen? Looks good. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, so really want to talk tonight, we're going to talk about our newest product, Tower Garden Home. Before I do that, I want to talk about our the original Tower Garden, which we've now renamed Tower Garden Flex because we can grow it indoors, outdoors. And this is really the Tower Garden that has, um, be, uh, 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 has really become to be known for these uh, huge bushy crops outdoors, tomato, cucumber, bell pepper, eggplant, squash like you see there. Um, it's, oops, I got to use this button here. Um, it's, we, you know, we can grow a, a really tall outdoors, we can grow watermelon, can grow 10, 15 feet out. That's my youngest daughter harvesting, a, a, gosh, nine years ago now, at a, as a one-year-old harvesting her favorite fruit, watermelon. I called her the grazer. And when I, 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 I tell the story, when I, um, uh, uh, took that picture of her eating off the strawberry tower. I had to have a, a fence around it for two weeks so the strawberries would get ripe because the lower three feet were always uh, devoured. Um, but what, um, now what we learned over the years is that um, as our community of, of tower gardeners and urban gardeners grew, people wanted more and more to, to grow indoors. And I have to blame our grow lights on, on the Canadians. And uh, I know Stephen heard me <laughs> share that at, at our national conference in Austin, Texas last October. It was really, uh, I started getting all these pictures from uh, these Canadian uh, growers up there who were wrapping Christmas tree light bulbs around it and, and clipped lights from Home Depot. And, um, and that's because, um, you know, we started out as an outdoor garden. Um, our company was based out of Orlando, Florida and then Memphis, Tennessee. And we're, we're a lot warmer in the south. And as you move up into these northern climates, it's a lot colder. And um, so really it's thanks to the persistence of our Canadian friends, we uh, 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 launched our first generation of grow lights, which were T5. And then we evolved into these beautiful state-of-the-art uh, state LED full spectrum lights here. Uh, we can produce a head of lettuce easily in four weeks with the system. But uh, what we learned, you know, while it was just a wonderful unit, for some it was just a bit too big for their home. It was a, couldn't quite get it through some of their more narrow doorways and things like that. So um, 
we spent several years, and um, thankfully we have this incredible global team here at the Juice Plus Tower Garden Company that helped us put together and develop Tower Garden Home, which is just launched in Canada. And so we are so, so excited for this. Um, this is very new and different. And let's see here. Oops, I am, my computer stalled here for a second, so I'm not sure why. I apologize for the jumping around. Okay, there we go. I apologize, guys. So my computer just stalled a little bit, but, but let's talk about Tower Garden Home. What makes it different? Well, uh, this unit is just about only five feet tall, so it's a little bit shorter. It's 24 inches wide versus the 31 inches of the old unit, which is kind of that, that red area there. So we have learned that that 24, you know, 18 to 24 inches is really the sweet spot inside your home. You can, you know, replace an end table in your living room. You can tuck it into a corner really easily. Um, we've built the wheels right into this unit. That's one thing that people said they would love that every tower garden came with the wheels just built in. So we've included those now in the tower garden home. Um, we have 32 plant sites and uh, in place of 20. And how we've done that is that we have 16 standard large plant sites, like you see down there in the lower portion of the tower. I've got a couple of tower garden homes right behind me here in my office. and. Uh, um, those are for your larger plants, and then we have 16 baby green plant sites, and I'll show you in a little bit in a little minute how we do that. In fact, wanted to talk about baby greens because a lot of people really don't know what baby greens are, and you know, do I want them or don't I? Um, uh, you actually do, and I'm going to teach you tonight. We're probably may take two or three minutes to learn how we utilize all 32 plant sites and the value of incorporating baby greens into our diet. Um, across every spectrum. So baby greens are really bite-sized greens, you know, anywhere from one to three inches. They are bite-sized versions of the, of the larger plants. So anything like a kale or mustard. And, and how they're different is if I was to pull a mature mustard leaf off of a tower garden and take a bite, I'd, I'd be sweating, I'd have tears coming out of my eyes, and I'd be running for glasses of water. It would be hot, spicy, and potent. But if I take that same plant and just harvest that baby bite size, it's much more tender, much more palatable, has a wonderful flavor, and it's an incredible addition to a dish. So baby greens are really, they're all the craze today. In fact, um, last, uh, 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 just at the end of last year, I visited Altius Farms. They have uh, 300 of these commercial towers, eight to nine feet tall on a rooftop in downtown Denver. And they're just growing all these phenomenal baby greens there. In fact, I think they're supplying baby greens, I think 20, 30 different varieties to almost 50 restaurants in downtown Denver. They want that local, fresh, tower to table food. Um, it tastes more potent. It didn't travel 2,000 miles from the valley in California. It's fresh. You know, you can harvest it and eat it the next day. So they, these baby greens are all the craze. And that's why we've picked it up into our new tower garden home. Now I want to show you how we can use these. The baby greens are perfect for your small herbs, things like your chives and your parsley and uh, thyme, things that really never took up a lot of space. That's what we're recommending the baby greens planter for. We don't need to waste a ton of space um, if it just doesn't need it right. And what I really love about the baby green technology, you know there's another hydroponic company out there that has a subscription service for 50, 60, 70 dollars a month to buy seedlings. And they don't want you cutting and reusing it. They want you to just replace it with the new expensive seedlings. And what I love about our baby greens is that we can cut and we can cut and we can recut. And this is huge value to the tower garden. I know a lot of indoor gardeners will grow four to six months off of the same off of the same crop. I have many good friends in Canada that send me pictures and videos regularly and they just do an incredible job. And um, we have also have found with Tower Garden Home, we have introduced theming your tower for health. Uh, creating a, you know, we've learned in the past with the Tower Garden Flex that, you know, um, sometimes when people plant for their vegetable garden, they almost do it like, uh, you know, they're, 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 uh, they're at the grocery store shopping. I want a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of the other. And what we found 
is, you know, with these grow lights indoors, we're going to be limited to that 24 or 30 inch circle, right? So we want to, we're really going to get the bang for the buck, the best part. It isn't that we couldn't grow tomatoes, it's just that they get big and they get bushy. And so we want to, if we can, stick with the lettuces, leafy greens and herbs. And I promise you, you're going to be harvesting a lot of food every single week. So we have three themed towers. So the first one is our herb and cooking tower. So things, you know, herbs and things that you use in cooking, that's really everything you'd put on an herb and cooking tower. So up there um, in the, the baby green area. Um, and maybe Stephen, we can, uh, you know, after this, maybe I'll send you a little uh, flyer you can hand out to your teams with some suggestions for what they could do up in the baby greens and then down below for each one of these theme towers I'm gonna to be talking about. That'd be um, fantastic. We're just, we're, we're nodding along here, Tim, because it's one of the things, you know, we've, we've had this conversation since we got our home, Tower Garden home, um, earlier this year of just, what do we want to put up there? You know, what, what, we know what we were growing in the, in the other pods, but what are we going to grow up in the, in the top placements? That'd be fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, the, so again, with the urban cooking, we're going to put the thyme, the, uh, the rosemary, the the, the uh, uh, chives, the green onions, things like things that don't take up a lot of space. We're going to keep up there and all the larger herbs down below. Now, the baby greens are perfect for, for ju your juicing tower, for your phytonutrients. And I'll bet you almost everybody on, the, on this uh, Zoom call tonight are doing some form of smoothies or juicing. And so we recommend up in that baby green uh, area that you're going to put... Uh, phytonutrient rich foods like red vein sorrel and pink amaranth. Now, I don't want a whole smoothie. I like doing kale, chard, parsley as the bulk of my, uh, my smoothie. But uh, to be able to top it off with a diverse range of phytonutrients is something quite incredible. Uh, there's a great example of a juicing tower. You know, recently, and I want to share with how important this phytonutrient story is. You know, um, uh, Recently, I was on the looking through the Harvard Medical School blog, and I came across this blog that basically told the medical story and the scientifically proven story of how we need to uh, put all the colors of the rainbow on our plate when it comes to the types of foods. That those diverse phytonutrients are are what's keeping us healthy. And uh, you know, Juice Plus, the company figured this out 30 years ago before whole food nutrition. Uh, was even a concept. And um, so hats off to the Juice Plus company. We were decades ahead of our time, and now that's kind of mainstream, the power of whole food no nutrition, how much better it is for your body versus a vitamin or a mineral in a raw form. They can actually be toxic to your body, create free radicals if you, if you can't utilize them. But um, long story short, out of this article, I picked two key points that I wanted to share tonight. When humans eat plant foods, phytonutrients, protect us from chronic disease. Phytonutrients have potent anti-cancer and anti-heart disease effects. And this is just mind blowing because I'm telling you 30 years ago, this would be considered witchcraft, the statement. And today it's part of these mainstream medical journals. So um, that is getting me really excited about the baby greens um, and about how important this diverse range of phytonutrients. Let's talk about a, a, another uh, we talked about the urban cooking tower. We talked about the juicing tower. Now I'd like to talk about number three, the salad tower. Anybody who's dieting or wants to live healthy is going to have, you know, a, a, a salad every day for lunch or for dinner. So a salad tower is perfect. Now up in our baby greens planter, I like it down below. I like to plant, say, like the let, like a, my bib lettuce and my red leaf lettuce and my green lettuce and my romaine, things that make up the bulk of the salad. But I want some potent extraordinary salad toppings one of my favorite is that purple dandelion there if we're talking about the power of phytonutrients you know uh, dandelion by itself is very bitter and you would never i mean most people couldn't stomach a whole plate of dandelion leaves but man you add them to a salad it's nutty flavorful it's you're feeling little zings and pings when you throw all these different uh baby greens in there but you know um they don't wreck the flavor of the salad they enhance it but Here's something else that's real cool, Stephen. That purple dandelion is loaded with vitamin A, folate, vitamin K, vitamin C, calcium, and potassium. Now, we don't think of a salad as a nutritional meal in the day, but you add these nutrient baby greens like this red dandelion, and we've now turned an ordinary salad 
into a superfood. And that's what's really exciting for me, for those of us that are leading and part of this healthy living revolution. We want to live healthy, extraordinary, happy, energetic lives. And this is one of the ways that we're going to do it. And there's just a beautiful picture of that salad tower with the baby greens, what it could look like um, in your own home. It's a heck of a lot of fun. And I, I want to share another point here. Um, I know so if you go into the social media channels of so many of our Canadian friends and um, they really care about their environment up there. I mean, the environmental, it's all you hear about on the news now. You turn on the TV. Uh, um, my good friend Jen Olson, I think, is always posting something of this, uh, the, uh, uh, something about uh, how to help the environment, what plastics are doing, and transportation and carbon footprint. And I want you to think about something. I'm, uh, we were just talking about um, how to grow better, how to theme your crops, how to grow indoors. But I want, to, I want you to look at that tower right there, that table, and think about this for a moment. Every time you reach over and you harvest that head of lettuce, you're saving up to 10 gallons of water. You're saving the pesticides, organic or conventional, that were used to spray that plant. You're saving the diesel to harvest. Um, uh, you are saving the plastic on the plastic wrapper. You're saving all those heads of lettuce that went into cardboard case the truck to ship it across the country, the energy to store it in a cooler, the gas it took for you to drive to the store to pick up that produce. The, you know, the list, I could keep going on and on. And, and the point is that I can't think of any better way to positively impact the environment and planet Earth than to grow a garden at home. And more specifically, a tower garden, which uses up to 98% less water and 90% less land. And now we can do it indoors. It's a really, really big deal for our health and wellness community. And that probably excites me more than anything, because when I think about our company, the Juice Plus Tower Garden Company, just by growing in our tower garden, we are actually creating mass change. We have, we have, significant, we have significantly offset green, green leaf and lettuce and herbs and other produce that shipped from California to our homes. We're, we're, you know, we're making a dent in modern agriculture and helping to transform uh, how we're living today and the future of our planet. So I'm really excited to be part of this company. Um, would like to share just a couple more things, Stephen, about uh, some of the cool features on the tower. And one of the things that we were asked over the years was, uh, you know, when I walk by my tower, I'm never, you know, could you put some type of gauge on there just so I know how much fertilizer is in there and, or, or excuse me, nutrient solution. And so we developed this little uh, float system that, you know, basically when it's, you know, when it's all the way up, it's, it's full of about 13 gallons of nutrient solution. And when it drops down to about that halfway mark, we say, you know, that's just time to fill up a five gallon bucket of fresh water and add your minerals and pour it back in there and uh, you're good to go. And so we really love that little, uh, uh, little safety check there to make sure the tower gardens always got a, a lot of fresh uh, water and nutrient minerals. Um, we've also introduced a brand new state-of-the-art timer, and uh, I think there's a few people happy about this, right, Stephen? <laughs> we, we love the timer. <laughs> it is, the timer just got real simple. We took out um, all the complicated pins that you have to set, and we just created two simple programs. We did a lot of uh, research and development with this, and, you know, um, uh, there's just two settings. There's a little button in the center, and there's an O for outdoors, and there's an I for indoors. And, and there are two completely different settings. We find that indoors, we don't have direct sun, we don't have wind, and so the plants just drink a lot less. And so that cycle is, is going to be off for a much longer than on our old timer. And what I really love about that is not, a, you know, we're saving on electricity. We don't have to program it. You press the button once and you got your setting, and uh, uh, you're saving on the life of your pump. You're saving on electricity. Your tower stays generally a lot cleaner. So um, we've had a hard time actually keeping these in the stock, Stephen, because so many people just love the simplicity, and we've been have small urban farms using these to, to grow their produce now. So I know you guys will be excited about that. Now, my good friend, Dr. Mitra Ray, I was at, at her boot camp um, a couple years ago in, uh, in Leavenworth, uh, uh, Washington, in the beautiful, the foothills of the beautiful Cascade Mountains, and I know there's a lot of people on this call tonight that are I'm um, on Mitra's team and good friends with her. And she's such a, an inspiring woman um, when it comes to uh, lifestyle changes and 
sharing the science behind whole food nutrition and uh, uh, could, couldn't say enough great things about her. And one of the things is her team is, she speaks direct and so does her team. And, and when I was at this event, they, uh, I can't tell you the number of people that came to me and said, Tim, we would really love a demo unit to take to events and things like that and something that's a little bit easier to move around. So Steve and I spend a lot of time talking about this. And so with Tower Garden Home, we actually had developed a, a three pot rod and a two pot rod to get that, you know, five pots tall, that original five foot height, but we can bring this down to three and a half feet. The same Tower Garden Home converts into a demo unit that you can easily take to any type of show or event. And I wanna show you, this actually just fits right into uh, any medium size or large size SUV. Um, that lid is dome shaped, but now it just sits straight flat, stands up three pots tall, and you can uh, put your a couple gallons of water right in the back of your SUV and you're good to go to your event. So we've really made this simple. And by the way, this same unit can even lay down assembled in the back of a Honda Civic. So that is really, really exciting. And it, it really gives people opportunity to see what we're all about. Um, and I kind of want to leave with a couple final notes here tonight, Stephen. Um, our Tower Garden Home, what are some of the official areas that you can find information and gather information? And uh, we have tower.com Canada. I forgot to put that forward slash Canada in there. Sorry about that. Yeah, um, we also have towergarden.ca up here as well. .ca, yes, thank you. So um, that's one of the areas, and we have the Tower to Table Facebook group. That's uh, the only uh, authorized, um, you know, uh, Tower Garden Facebook group out there. We have a lot of members, and we have a lot of fantastic Tower Gardeners and farmers who Tower Tower Farms that have 300 or 1,000 towers or 50 towers or 10 towers, and they're providing real food to the local communities. They're on there sharing tips and tricks. And so it's a great tower to table Facebook group. Number one place to go get some information outside of towergarden.canada. Um, this year, we are getting very close to launching our national Tower Garden Zoom call. So Stephen, I know we'll keep everybody in that loop. Steve and I were just talking about that today, three hours ago. And um, Tower Garden Home will be incorporating more of these onto the YouTube channel, some of these simple tips and tricks and training videos. And, um, and Stephen will make sure that uh, we get those two guys as well to get up to your YouTube channel. So those are really the four key places that um, I would say you could con connect uh, for Tower Garden Home. I know there's a lot more and a lot of other people doing great things out there. So, um, you know, more power to you, keep all those going, but uh, this is a you know great simple platform and uh, to know where to go um, is really what I'm getting at. And what I really wanted to leave everybody tonight with is um, um, clearly you can see that everybody on this call, we're so passionate about the healthy living revolution. And you know our goal at the Tower Garden Company is to have a million homes growing, consuming food like this. And think of the impact we're gonna have on the, on the planet, on our health. And one of the things that I really wanted to leave you with tonight, the most important thing I can think of is that uh, the only way we're going to get a million homes consuming produce like this is really just starts with one family at a time. You know, living and being an example, growing a tower garden home at home, whether it's that salad tower, just, just starting with one tower, having a salad. I know most of my good friends have three to six towers. So for those of us that have don't really have to go to the grocery store. That's where we're, we're growing on three to six towers. But for most people, just start simple. Start with the towers. I'm going to do a salad every night for dinner, or I'm going to incorporate some, some fresh, living, potent, phytonutrient, chlorophyll-filled, pesticide-free, locally grown uh, kale or chard or parsley. I'm going to go throw it into my smoothie in the morning, or I'm just, I, or every day if I cook, if I'm passionate about cooking, I'm going to I'm, gonna, I'm gonna going to throw some of that fresh, wonderful food into my dishes. And then when I invite my friends over, I'm going to be sharing by example. I'm going to be leading by example. I'm going to inspire them to get fit and healthy like me, to look at, to follow my example. And that's really my one piece of advice that I could share with the entire community out there is to, um, um, grow with the tower and share the tower and the rest will take care of itself and uh, 
I just want to thank um, uh, all my Canadian friends and everyone from around the globe that's on this call tonight. Uh, my goodness, thank you for joining us so late on the East Coast time, and and uh, and uh, we can't wait to see you at our national conference at the end of March in Phoenix, Arizona. I think there'll be about 8,000 of us attending, so we're looking to see seeing all of you there. Amazing. Thank you so much, Tim. Uh, thank you for all this information, for taking the time. Incredible information. I know our, our chat was lighting up there um, as well. Uh, Bobby and I, you know, we wanted to jump on and, and say a special thank you for all your, your help and support. We've been, uh, we've been growing uh, towers for, the, for the last four years. And, uh, oh, wow. um, and, and in particular, you know, I really want to just point out a couple of things in terms of our experience, uh, you know, with the, those, those official sites. You know, there's sometimes, even after four years of experience working for the company and, and knowing what we know, you still run into the couple is like, what's going on with this? Or what should I do about that? Mm -hmm. And just the community that's there in terms of uh, being able to answer some questions, share some experiences. Um, Bobby is so, constantly in there. Yeah, it's amazing after four years, you know, I think I have it down pat. I go in there and I learn something new. Every mm -hmm. single time I go to that website, I'm learning something new or tip or yeah. trick. It's really, uh, it's pretty neat. Yeah, so that's fantastic. We got a lot more to add to that um, in the in the coming year. Or so I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm excited. And, you know, and to just hit on this as we wrap it up for our kids. And I know you you showed some pictures of your children. We love it. Our kids love going down with a salad bowl, clipping the food off, bringing it up, helping make a salad. You know, they've we've we've turned them into salad eaters because they're they're part of the whole process from seed to to table, and that's been huge. And the other one, Tim, when you hit on environmental factors, one thing we've really noticed this year is um, less wastage. So we go and buy you know packaged food, salad at the store, bring it home. We're not through that most day or most weeks before it starts to go bad. Yes. Uh, so now we've got single use plastic we're throwing out, yeah, salads we're containers. throwing out, big huge containers, and this is. You know, there's no no wastage you know we're well that and, and to that point i'll just share very briefly that the usda here in the united states says that that produce that fresh cut leafy greens lettuce and herbs that that travel from field to table when they're cut they lose up to 50 percent of their nutrition so right. our soils are depleted and then they're getting more depleted so it it uh it just is one more extraordinary reason to 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 to, to pick it when you're ready to eat it yeah, absolutely. It's been incredible. So again, thank you so much, uh, Tim. Thank you everybody for coming and joining us. If someone invited you to this call tonight and um, and you're looking at uh, getting into uh, Tower Garden Growing, I um, encourage you to uh, to get back to, to whoever invited you to this and, and get growing. It is an incredible experience for you and your family. Um, it's been life-changing for us to be able to just walk downstairs and, and pick it right <laughs> off and bring it to the table and eat it. So I encourage you to get back to the person who invited you to tonight's call. And again, Tim, on behalf of everyone uh, on the call, you know, I'd like to say all in Canada, but we've got people from each coast in Canada, as well as uh, down to the United States. On behalf of all of everyone who joined us tonight, thank you so much um, for taking the time and all the information you shared and all that you do. We appreciate you very much. You got it. Thank you guys and blessings to everybody. Thanks, Tim. Thanks. All the best. Good night, everybody. Thanks for joining. Bye.